Okay, everyone, I just wanted to get this quick one out. So, in the last little bit, oh, I've been trying to find a way to eat, better manage my library on my Pine phone. Because the way Lollipop works, it doesn't sort everything out. And so, some things showed up unsorted and mixed everything together. So, I wanted to be able to separate it. So, I was looking through different tag editing tools to figure out what I could use to change the tags and make it so Lollipop can sort that a lot easier. And so the best tool I came across was Taffy. So I installed this from the AUR. It complained that it didn't have a build for it, so I built it anyway, being as it's written in Ruby. So that left me with the ability to still run it there because Ruby scripting and all the Ruby tools were already built for the ARM architecture and then anything else had to be built otherwise. But basically what Taffy does is it lets you manage your media tags and this Taffy doesn't quite requ doesn't require you to actually import a library or things like some of the other managers do and those definitely are good at what they do it's just for my use case I didn't want to to have to manage my library and things like that so as I added stuff like my I had MPD already why do I need anything else but this is kinda what I went with and so uh, it has the options to clear or add tags, uh, of course. Um, if you just run Taffy on a file, it'll display that s oh, info. So if I go over to into the terminal, then I go into music. So we can see I've got a fair bit of music in here. Oh, let's go and look at... the Tron Tribute folder and you can see I've got a few pieces of music so if I go Taffy oh it's not installed here give me a second so you install Taffy basically like this with whatever AUR oh I should not search for it I should install it but Basically, yeah, it goes like this, so I don't have very much to install, obviously, because I've got most of it installed already due to other packages. But on my Pine phone, I had to compile a few things and get that rolling. That can take a while because of the low resources that it has. So, it's just going to take a bit. Oh, okay. So, my microphone's more sensitive thanks to some changes. I have to readjust all my volumes. Okay, so now we can go Taffy01. And so there it displays all of that info. So I've actually got a few folders of YouTube downloads that weren't properly tagged. So YouTube D most of the time will download it but not tag it with everything. I believe there are options to tag it but other than that um, it doesn't really do it on its own. So if I actually go into... ah. Let's get the right thing going. So I've got all this music from like the remastered collection, Command and Conquered remastered collection that aren't tagged. So if I look at one, there's nothing on it. So it, can, it shows the file name and things. And you can see that this is actually a different 
oh it has a few different formats of audio because in it too so it basically works with just about every media format i believe no promises but if i wanted to add what If I wanted to add a genre, you can see that in the help over here, it has the G. And so I can go and add game soundtrack as a genre. And then let's see. see album yeah so i can add an album with the l tag so they're kind of weird but they do make sense the oh flags that you have to use for each of them oh so you've got l for album r for artist c for comment g for genre t for title n for the track and then y for the year so we can add and conquer remastered collection ost no no okay and then if i want to add the year which is was 2020 and then you can either insert the file individually or you can use the wildcard and it'll go through and add all those tags to it the library and so now if I go and taffy workmen you can see that those tags were added so like I mentioned this use case I found it more useful for these video download or YouTube downloads where I downloaded the music and this could also be used in some cases so if I go into Come on. So um, not all the music in here is actually tagged consistently. So if I were to go and look at Delta. So I can look at that one. And if I go and look, I believe that one is the oddball in it, is it? I've got an oddball in here somewhere, but basically the idea is if you had an oddball that was tagged slightly differently in your music, you could actually re-tag it. And that's actually pretty helpful. So, yeah, so that's kind of the big part of it. So I do have a few folders with YouTube downloads in it. So one thing that this does work well in conjunction with is YTFZF. If you've been searching for music and stuff, you can actually, one of the options you have is to oh download the music so uh, you've got uh, the f flag to view the formats of of it and then like your audio only and then your download option so you can pick to only listen to stuff if you're just streaming it or you can go and download it and so this is where that c really comes in handy is the fact that not only can you avoid going to YouTube and copying the URL, but you can search for what you're looking for, download it, and then re-tag it later on down the road. So you could implement that all into a separate script otherwise, depending on what you're doing. Or you can implement it on your SXMO PinePhone install. So I hi I'd highly recommend Taffy for that re-tagging. And then in conjunction with YT, 
FCF, you've got a pretty, I think, in my opinion, robust way of managing music and getting music from YouTube or any other site that YouTube DL supports, for that matter. And... Yeah. Oh, YouTube DL is still around, luckily, so we can take advantage of that and everything else. So I hope you all have... Well, check out my links and stuff that are down in the description. And I do have a Teespring. And that kind of thing. So if you want to check it out, that is in the Discord and the Support Me channel. I think there are a few more of those links than I leave in the description. And that's purely because the block of links is already large enough. But I will see you all in the next one.